Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Cinderella and we're having a close look at this little Polly Pocket Cinderella Castle. How do we know it's Cinderella's castle? Do you see the glass slipper that she left behind when she went to the ball? There are two little doors that open. What do you think is inside? Let's turn it around and it opens in the back. We found this beautiful castle at a thrift store. It's second hand. Oh, and here is a place where two people can sit at a table with a pink tablecloth. And another room down here. If we go to the center, that's where the doors open, the big blue curtains. And on the left, there's a light. Oh, and a beautiful stairway and a couch. And here is the ballroom dance floor where Cinderella danced with the prince. Now, do we have any little dolls? Because Cinderella is much too big for the dance floor. Well, oh, there's a secret little drawer hidden underneath the dance floor. And we have three little miniature dolls tucked away. This maybe is one of the stepsisters. And then we have the prince and his father, the king. And only two little dolls can fit on the little dance circle at one time. And once they're snapped on, the king will stand at the side. The two dolls will spin and dance. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Hit the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are on the beach with the Disney princesses with the beautiful lake in the background. We have colorful bright eggs and these used to be my mom's when she was a kid. And there are surprises in each of the eggs, old ones. We have Princess Ariel Princess Rapunzel, Princess Anna, and Queen Elsa. Let's open the red egg first. Look! It's an old Princess Ariel toy. We'll set her down right beside Princess Ariel. Now, let's open the yellow egg. It's a Princess Belle toy. Now, sadly, we don't have Belle with us today on the beach, but we'll set her right between Rapunzel and Princess Anna. Now for the green egg. Look, it's a soft mini Hello Kitty stuffy. I wonder what it does. It can clip onto your finger. So cool. Let's go see what Poppy's doing. And don't forget, if you want to see more animal videos, you can go to our other channel, My Little Dog Joey. And don't forget to press the link below to subscribe. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Rapunzel, Anna, Elsa, and Cinderella. And they are going to do a science experiment all together. It's going to be the bubbling, exploding volcano. And there are only four simple ingredients. And you can even do this at home. Cinderella measures out the baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate an everyday household item in your cupboard. Next, 
Rapunzel is going to add two drops of red color to make it look like red or orange lava. Anna is going to add two drops of her natural dish soap. It's important to add those three ingredients first. And the final ingredient is always vinegar. And Elsa is using her dropper. And then watch what happens when she adds the vinegar. Whoa, it's glowing like real volcanic lava. Okay, so that wouldn't really happen. Let's try the experiment ourselves using a Play-Doh volcano. First, we add some dish soap, then some baking soda. And remember, always get help from an adult when doing science experiments at home. Now we're not going to use food dye and we're going to add the vinegar. So watch what happens. <gasps> We have white lava bubbling out of our blue volcano. The baking soda reacts with the vinegar. Sometimes I use it for cleaning. You can try this at home, Tiny fans, but get help from an adult. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are with our Disney princesses and they are heading to Cinderella's house so that they can make homemade lip gloss. They love doing crafts together. They are all driving in the Fisher-Price SUV together. We have Anna, Elsa, Belle, Rapunzel, and Princess Jasmine. We made homemade lip balm on the weekend using all natural ingredients from the kitchen. We used coconut oil and real chocolate chips. It's important to use natural ingredients on your skin since our body absorbs all chemicals. If your lips feel dry, it means you're dehydrated. So you'll need to drink more water and apply a natural lip moisturizer. Tiny Treasures made these lip balms with a friend using a kit purchased at a bookstore. The kit contained these little pods and beeswax and a little book of recipes with over 10 different flavors of lip balms. Okay, it's time to head to Cinderella's house. Anna's going to be driving today. Elsa is going to keep her sister company and sit in the passenger seat. Rapunzel is going to sit in the back on the right side. She slides all the way over. Oops. There we go. And Belle is going to ride in the middle back seat. And that leaves one more seat for their friend Princess Jasmine. She sits in the back left side. Everyone is in and everyone buckles their seat belts. The girls don't see a doorbell, so Elsa knocks on the door. Cinderella is anxiously awaiting her friend's arrival. <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome to my home. I'm so excited to spend some time with you. Come on inside. As a thank you for having us today, we all pitched in and bought you this flower in a pot for your house. <gasps> oh, I love flowers. 
Mm, it smells wonderful and it is beautiful. Thank you so much. That was very thoughtful. And since this plant needs some sun, I will put it on the countertop just over here. Perfect. And please help yourself to the freshly squeezed organic lemonade I made earlier this morning. Let's get crafting. Today we are using this natural 100% lava lip gloss kit and it makes six different lava lip glosses and the main ingredients are castor oil and safflower oil both very safe to use on our lips the instructions are very easy to follow tiny treasures has already made the first lip gloss it looks like a little miniature lava lamp have you ever seen a lava lamp they're really neat. First, you measure out the oil, pour it into the tube, and then add your flavor and color. Thank you so much, Cinderella, for having us over today. Making lip gloss was so much fun. Maybe we could do another craft next weekend. It's time to go home. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Let's see who's home in the Fisher Price Little People house. It's somebody's birthday today. It's Belle's birthday today, and her friends have a special surprise planned for her. She was just reading one of her favorite books. How about we go down the slide while we wait for your friends, Belle? I think I hear somebody coming. Oh, it's Cinderella's horse and carriage. What a special treat. Each of Belle's friends have arrived with a special gift. Cinderella has a magical pumpkin for her. Who has the red hair? It's Ariel. And she has a shiny purple shell for Belle. Hey, that rhymes. Shell and Belle. And Princess Aurora has a beautiful pink rose. Happy birthday, Belle. Are you ready to go on an adventure? All of the girls hop on the carriage. Belle gets the seat in the center. She's the guest of honor today. They are going to a special tea party on an old paddle wheeler boat that used to go down the river. And this is what it looks like on the outside. There's the big paddle that spins and pushes the boat through the water. As we step onto the boat, it's like being in a museum. Look at this old wheelchair. And how about this old car? This is what cars looked like about a hundred years ago. We step up into the captain's room. The captain had a place to sleep and relax. And this is where the captain steered the boat. Look at the large wooden wheel. Tea and snacks are ready to be served. We head to the dining room on the boat. There are white linens on the table and cute flowered teacups. Oh, 
yummy snacks, including cupcakes. And the tea is even organic. I chose a quiche and a strawberry. The princesses each get a saucer and a teacup. Two of the teacups have pink hearts and the other two teacups have blue hearts. Make sure the tea isn't too hot. It could burn your tongue or your mouth if it is. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Mickey and Minnie Mouse are welcoming us at the entrance of Sleeping Beauty's castle. And although Sleeping Beauty isn't nearby today, we have our friend Belle saying hi to guests of Disneyland. She loves Fantasyland. Fantasyland is home of one of Belle's favorite rides, the teacups. They spin round and round. Ariel is greeting guests on the other side of the castle. Let's open up the castle and see what's inside. Oh, there's a ride from Tomorrowland. And on this side, it's Splash Mountain. And of course, a merry-go-round. We head through the gates of Disneyland. It's Christmas time and we see the big Christmas tree it's so tall and lit up with so many lights, thousands. As we walk down Main Street, we're looking for Sleeping Beauty's castle at the entry of Fantasyland. It's lit up with beautiful lights as well. Let's get a closer look. In the daytime, the Christmas tree isn't lit up, but it's still just as beautiful. We head down the same main street, head towards the castle. What will it look like in the daytime? It's pink and blue, just like my Disneyland castle toy at home. Do you think Sleeping Beauty is in there? In California Adventureland, there's a huge Ferris wheel. There are also rides for the little ones. This ride is based off of one of my favorite movies, Inside Out. And there's one of the characters. She is green and her name is Disgust. Over here is the blue character with glasses, Sadness. Inside Out emotional whirlwind. Beside the ride is a big candy store with the pink elephant in Inside Out. Look at all of the candy under his wagon. It isn't real, of course. Now we enter the wilderness. This is called the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail with waterfalls and animal prints on the sidewalks and big bridges made of netting. All of this walking is making us hungry and it wouldn't be a complete Disneyland trip without a yummy treat. A Chiro covered in cinnamon and sugar. This will be our one treat for the day. Time to head off on the Disneyland train. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our little princesses, Belle, Elsa, 
and the Little Mermaid Ariel. It just snowed last night and we can see actual snowflakes on the ground. Do you see how the light hits the crystals to make them shimmer like sparkles? Oops! Two of our princesses fell in the snow. Belle and Ariel, are you going to make snow angels? Go back and forth. Belle makes an upside down snow angel. Ariel, would you like to make a snow angel too? Let's go over here in a fresh patch of snow. She makes an upside down snow angel too. Elsa is looking for one of her friends. Here's a hint. He's made of snow. Do you know what his name is? He needs to stay cold. Elsa decides to go look for him. Hmm. She uses the snow to build a snowman so she can create Olaf. And speaking of Olaf, here comes the Peppa Pig train with a special delivery. We have a melting Olaf snowman melting kit. And we're going to build an Olaf and watch him melt. The kit also comes with a mini book of Olaf, which we'll read in another video. The kit also comes with white putty and the little Olaf accessories. Carrot nose, a mouth, some eyes, two hands. We create three different sections for our Olaf. Wow, it looks a lot like him. Let's watch him melt. Well, we waited 15 minutes and Olaf didn't melt completely. Mainly his head just toppled over. Now it's time to put our putty away and take all of the accessories off. I'll start with his right arm, his mouth and teeth, carrot nose, the right eyebrow, eyeballs, his hair, his left eyebrow, the three black buttons, and we put Olaf away. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our princesses are in class. We have Belle, Ariel, Rapunzel, and Princess Jasmine, and their teacher, Mrs. Stone. Good morning, class. Today we will be learning about the human body and the digestive system. We have special textbooks on the human body. Does anyone know what the digestive system is for? Belle puts up her hand. Yes, Belle. The digestive system is for the food we eat. It breaks it down. That is correct, Belle. Did you know the digestive process begins before you even take a bite? When we smell food, our mouth begins to produce saliva, also known as spit. Take a look at your textbooks. Do you see the digestive system right below the ribs. Once you take a bite, your teeth begin grinding the food into smaller and smaller pieces. Your tongue pushes the food against the top of your mouth to mix it with saliva. When your teeth and saliva have made it soft and easy to swallow, your tongue pushes the food to the back of your throat to be swallowed. It travels down your esophagus into your stomach. This is what our stomach looks like. Once the food is in the stomach, 
the mussels squeeze and mix the food for three hours to make it into a thick soup. Then it travels into the small and large intestine. Junk food tastes good, feels bad. They don't call it junk food for nothing. Food that doesn't have good nutrients is a waste of your body's time. When you eat a bunch of greasy, salty potato chips, you still want more because your body is still hungry. When you eat an apple, you don't want 10 more apples because you are actually feeding cells. Ariel eats a healthy lunch every day full of fresh vegetables and fruits. It keeps her body energized. Speaking of lunch, it's noon and it's time for me to eat a healthy lunch. Today I made a borscht. It's a soup that's made out of beets, carrots, potatoes, and fresh dill. What do you have for lunch that's healthy? And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Last night, Tiny Treasures Mini helped me build this cute Playmobil Christmas Santa baking cookie set. And we have three Disney princesses, Jasmine, Elsa, and Belle. And they're going to bake and decorate cookies with Santa Claus today. They're at the huge table where there are cookie cutters. There's a Christmas tree shape, heart, and a moon. And there's a roller with a cookie sheet. And of course, we can't make cookies without a recipe book. Santa's Secret Cookie Recipes. The ingredients we need are sugar, eggs, and organic flour. We mix all of the ingredients together, roll out the dough, and Princess Jasmine is doing the cookie cutting today. Belle's job is to carefully place each cookie on the golden baking sheet. They're ready to go in the hot oven. Santa opens the oven door and puts the cookies on the top rack of the oven. It's very hot. Careful, Santa. He shuts the oven door and they bake the cookies for 12 minutes. Ding! The cookies are ready to come out of the oven. They put them on the cooling rack. They need to cool before we put the icing on. While they wait for the cookies to cool, Santa gives the princesses a gift. <gasps> Ooh, a soccer ball. Thank you so much, Santa. We love playing sports. The cookies have cooled. Elsa does a wonderful job of decorating each cookie individually. The trees are green, the hearts are red, the moons are yellow and the stars are white. Oh, and look who stopped by. Sorry, no cookies for Kitty. Did you bake any Christmas cookies this year? And if you did, what kind did you make? And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Ariel is ready for an underwater adventure with her friends and Sebastian. Hop aboard the underwater Little Mermaid coach. Let's pick up your first friend. Hey look, it's Belle. She's going on the first underwater adventure on the magical coach. Let's go underwater. And they get to watch beautiful floating jellyfish. Next, Ariel is going to pick up Cinderella. Wonder what Cinderella will see on the underwater adventure. Look, it's clownfish, just like Nemo. And there's dorryfish too. 
Now it's Rapunzel's turn to be picked up and she hops on the coach. Oh, ooh, some pretty seahorses. The same kind of creature on the front of Ariel's coach. And finally, it's Sleeping Beauty's turn. Oh, she has a beautiful pink rose for Ariel. How nice. It's a puffer fish. When they're scared, they suck in a lot of water and then spikes come out of their body. We don't want to touch it because the spikes are poisonous. Finally, Snow White and Jasmine hop on Ariel's coach. Will the two princesses fit? Jasmine sits beside Ariel. And Snow White fits in front behind Sebastian. Oh, wow! Look at all of the little tentacles that make this big starfish move. Uh-oh, a crab needs to get by, but he's not sure what to do. He's going to wait patiently for the starfish to move. Oh, he might be here all day. Oh, he's decided to go over top of the starfish. Ouch! Oh, ouch! Ouch! We hope you enjoyed our underwater adventure with the Disney princesses. Please hit the link below to subscribe to support our channel. Thank you and goodbye.